Theory and Practice of Silviculture, Lecture Number 18. In my previous lecture, we studied about the irregular shelter wood system. Then we studied about the Indian irregular shelter wood system. Now, in this lecture, we are go again going to study the Indian irregular shelter wood system with an example of regeneration of Shorya Rabasta. This is a very big challenge and it is a topic which is very important for us to understand how Shorya Rabasta could come in the Indian irregular shelter wood system because this is one of the most economical and very important timber species. So, silviculture system. Uh, I don't want to repeat again and again in my previous lectures I have told very nicely about the silviculture system where we concentrate on harvesting, regeneration and tending. Now we have studied this cycle and this is cycle is for all silviculture system but it is different for different species because the species demand the regeneration somewhere the species like light in the beginning somewhere it like moderate light some are shade bearers like Shorya Rabasta. Shorya Rabasta is a shade bearer in a seedling stage. Later, as it grows into pole and a mature tree, it keeps on demanding the light. So, we can say it is a light demander tree species in the mature stage, but it is a shade bearer in the sapling or seedling stage. So, that is what the silviculture system will help us to make it, mimic it and let it grow nicely. That is why it could not come under the uniform shelter wood system and it came very nicely in Indian irregular shelter wood system. So, we are going to study the Indian irregular shelter wood system under the shelter wood system. So, in this system, we will go for the example called Shorya Rabasta or we generally call it Sal. So, the pattern of felling already I have explained that there is a two pattern of felling here. We have a compromise between what uniform system and we have a compromise with selection system. This is a pattern, it is not exactly uniform system. As already I told you when in that same compartment we have a, a level terrain and we have a steep terrain in the same compartment, we have a compromise between these two system. In this system we compromise, we take, we retain the 40 centimeter dia, but as we go on the steep, we go for the selection felling because to, for the fear of erosion. So, in this lecture we are going to study about the sal forest in Haldwani as the regeneration cannot be obtained in a will in a soil forest. So, we it is a very difficult. Now, we divide into two categories. Okay. In that soil forest in this Haldwani or Ramnagar is an example. Uh, we can practice everywhere. So, we follow two categories. We make two categories of this forest. Number one category is either in that area, if there is some VP, VP we can understand this is a seedling growing nicely, but Seedling is something VP means it is the same size it takes 2 or 3 years to come that is called VP because it is not able to grow because now it is demanding light just because of heavy shade it becomes VP. So, that area of Sal, Shorya Rabasta forest either the regeneration is in some part or contains some VP regeneration or contain some VP, some sub VP regeneration. Okay, This can be favored, this can grow into nicely by doing some uh, operations that we will discuss in category A. Then in category B, where the regeneration is deficient, no regeneration, but it can respond when we go for soil working, broadcasting and some tending operations. So, we will divide this entire area into floating periodic block. This is divided into floating periodic block. Floating periodic block is what is floating periodic blocks? Please watch my lecture. One, one of the lecture is in uh, lecture number 13. Here I have clearly explained about the floating periodic block. Now, floating means now it is not fixed one. Wherever it's, we feel this red color, some regeneration is coming, we will take this block. This area neither it is fixed nor the period is fixed for regeneration. So, it is called floating periodic block. The area allotted to floating periodic block is a method is more flexible in management where the mature uh, forest is uh, taken for regeneration without predetermined limit of size and period. So, that is why it comes under what your Indian irregular shelter wood system. So, what we see, so for example, uh, this is the area. We feel some regeneration of sal is there. So, some regeneration of sal is here. Neither area is fixed nor rotation is fixed. We will start working here all those uh, tending operation, harvesting operation or whatever regeneration filing. 
and somewhere we feel that nearby area can also respond uh, if you go for tending and then fresh area can come so we add this area fresh area so uh, in a map in this entire map this entire map is this map so this small area blue color shows the area for regeneration and this area which we have taken up we feel that this can uh, regeneration can come in this area we say it a uh, yellow color and then we say quatre jaune this is in detail please uh, go for the previous lecture that is called lecture number 13 you will understand now what i want to tell you is we are dividing this entire into two parts category a and category b under the floating periodic block now let's understand one by one in category a where the areas have uh, regenerated in a part as i say the category a will have either some regeneration is there or contain some vp regeneration or contain some sub vp regeneration or likely to respond by fencing on some rain and shrub cutting this is, you can see shrubs this is the regeneration coming up here are some shrubs will cut down so this area how to do it how to make this regeneration area coming a successful into establishment seeding sapling and a pole so either regeneration will be absent in that area so all all the compartment will not have a similar thing they will be mixed what type of mix either that compartment some part regeneration is or totally absent no regeneration you can see though no regeneration either vp and some vp regeneration you can see, see this is a some uh, vp and sub sub vp regeneration is there this this type of condition may also be there either some woody stage see they have grown up in the woody stage they have grown grown up in the woody stage now they need more light and some stages already established we do not need to worry now so we can have four type of situations uh, regeneration may be absent vp and sub vp regeneration will be there woody re stage regeneration will be there and established stage will be there so how we will be doing category a this four things will come there but it may not be same so we have to adjust the crowns now now category a to be developed the existing regeneration in a short possible time will try number one where regeneration is absent totally absent no felling we will do except dead dying disease tree you can see this only the dead dying disease tree this is the dead dying disease tree we will only fell those now we have fell those you can see the light will enter here see in that floating periodic block what we'll be doing we will be felling only the dead dying diseased territory then where the regeneration is sub vp to vp stage you can see it is some vp to vp stage then more light should be admitted for its development now we need to give more light because it is trying to struggle it becomes vp now if we are not giving further light in the coming years it will die so what we do we try to give more light for its development by removing in thinning heavy foliage branching trees you can see these are the heavy foliage branching trees these are the heavy foliage branching trees under story these are under under story so this under story trees has to be removed uh, this is vp vp1 so under story trees you can see this is the light we need to put it you can see under story this is all under story this under story this under story which is have to be removed in the heavy foliage this is heavy foliage one when i said this is a heavy foliage one has to be removed see has to be removed now you can see a very good light has started coming out removing those understory trees so treatment a says removal of dead dry disease heavy foliage tree understory so this is the condition you can see this is the condition after felling it this is the condition it becomes it gives the light now you can imagine that these seedlings which has been recruited here will try to grow more better that is what because this has to be done very nicely and maintain and adjust the crowns where regeneration has reached woody stage now let's come to the third part if your regeneration has come to the woody stage you can see some woody stage regeneration has come out we have to go to c and d grade thinning now this thinning is a chapter we have to understand what is a grade thinning b grade thinning c grade thinning d grade thinning in a grid thinning uh, it is a long chapter we can go through the some literatures and a grid thinning we uh, remove dead dying disease tree b we remove more number of tree c we remove more number of tree, tree d we go for bit heavy thinning so here we can go either c either d because uh, already you have a pole stage you can see this is the tree species already with us 
you can see the tree species already with us what we need to do we need to go for c grade thinning or a d grade thinning this is like a c grade thinning we are going and we are taking out those species you can see we are taking out these species these are the species we have thinned it now see these are already established stage one now they require more light if we don't do thinning here they will struggle st staggle if you don't give light here they will not able to develop their self this is already matured trees now we have to harvest so better to harvest in that area only where we have already the established stage so lot of lights will come now doing this one we have to keep 5 to 15 meter distance of dominant space because we can't remove all slowly we will be removing these trees because these trees have to reach this bigger one bit more uh, youth one and then this has to reach the established stage now while doing this one we are maintaining the in c and d thinning we are maintaining the distance of 12 to 15 meter among themselves so this is what the thing we have to keep uh, the distance this is the distance we'll keep the some moderate light is entering to give the photosynthesis and food to these growing trees to become bigger as they start coming more bigger and they become mature enough now all those trees is been removed this has well grown where the regeneration has est uh, reached established stage the old canopy now we remove so that now they grow very well it takes a lot of time but we have to be very cautious with that one so what we do we, as I told you, we have to remove the old canopy and then these are the trees which are been established here. So that all stages may not come in the same place like uh, without regeneration, with regeneration, VP, sub VP and then established stage and then the stage which is in a woody stage. It may not be in the same place. It may be mixed. So we have to make an adjustment. That's why. All healthy and well-grown trees up to 40 cm diameter, whether occupying singly or in groups, will be retained as a part of future crop. See, we are retaining here. We are felling this, felling this, felling this, retaining this, retaining 40 cm, retaining 40 cm. This is in Indian irregular shelter wood system, so that their light comes and enters here, and also we are getting the revenue and a long timber because they are these timbers are very long, straight, and a quality timber. They are coming with the competitions among this irregular shelter wood system. So retention of a groups of well grown poles and immature trees are then 40 centimeter dia. You see 40 centimeter we retained we cut down this dead dying malformed or immature trees will fell down. We cut down this dead dying malformed or immature trees will fell down. Okay. So the top canopy should be have a mixture of 10 percent of light crown species that is important because some light should come and miscellaneous species of no use will cut down so in the middle story this is in the middle story as already i told you heavy branches this like melatus and other thing under story we will have to remove it we'll remove all this one okay so to admit the light the light is very important coming from the top the light is important because what this light will give this light will help the photosynthesis and let those uh, uh, pole stage or this uh, sapling stage to grow nicely. So, but in between that, we have to take care of maduka, mango and other oil seeds, fruit tree, we don't cut down. That is for the use, we'll keep it, okay. This is category A. Category B is also similar, but only one thing is this area, there is deficit of regeneration now. In category A, there was some regeneration, VP, sub VP, here there is no a regeneration so in this area what we will do what how we will take the region how we'll do we'll doing the soil working and broadcasting in this area no regeneration is coming so what we will do so the first thing we'll do is removal of dead dying disease tree so we'll try to remove dead dying disease tree this is for example dead dying disease tree we will remove see we have removed okay the next step what we'll be doing is carrying out heavy grade thinning in the middle story as i told you this middle story heavy grade in understory the heavy branches foliage will cut down so we this is so much heavy understory this all understory has to be removed otherwise there will be no light which can penetrate here so heavy foliage species understory has to be removed like this so we can see now a lot of light is coming here that everything is not over now now still that same thinning is there c or d grade thinning c or d grade thinning on the top canopy which is very dense so mature and over mature trees have to be removed in preference 
to the sound and good growing. So if it is sound and good growing, will not remove. Only will remove the dead dying or mature trees like this. So let's have a view again. This is uh, those trees which is uh, very mature, over exploited, and that has to be uh, removed like this. So we see now lot of light, lot of gap is there, not clear felling. It's a lot of partial lights we are trying to give on this one. Okay, so we will have again the spacing what we'll be giving in the thinning that is 12 to 15. That is the spacing we'll give on that one. Now, next operation is burning. What burning? This is called prescribed burning or controlled burning. Prescribed or controlled. I think this already is a literature. What do you mean by? In here we collect all the slices and other thing in, in one place where there is no regeneration and then pile up and then we burn it. Okay, this operation is very very important. After burning we have a clean floor here. Whether there is no regeneration but in areas where no regeneration soil working by manual labor we will do some soil working is needed here. So by manual labor or whatever you we have to do we have to do here. But what we will do? We have to do in May before the seed falls seed fall of shoria we have to do in may so what we will be doing we'll do burning is the first operation we will do burning after burning we'll do soil working so either you have a tractor or by manual you'll do soil working all this before seed fall then uh, we will wait for the seed to fall as the seed falling lot of regeneration will come if regeneration doesn't come no need to worry we'll take some seed collect some seed from here already we have collected and then we'll do broadcasting in that area we'll throw some seeds in that area so that the regeneration also come in that area where there is no regeneration. After doing this one, uh, we have to wait for 5-6 months or what, then we have to do the most important thing is weeding and shrub cutting, otherwise again weed are fast growing. They will try to suppress your seedlings because already light we have given in this area, this is light is been permitted. So weed will take the light and they will grow. So what we need to do? We need to take out the weed around that salt seedling. If there is a salt seedling, we have to take out the weed around this one or uproot the weed. After this one, the important is fencing now. We have to fence because grazing will be there. That fencing we can do, lot of fencing methods are there or we can do game proof fencing. What do you mean by game proof fencing? If this is your forest area, we will by a JCB will dig out here somewhere like this. Okay, like uh, 1.5 uh, meter somewhere here, like uh, 0 0.9 uh, meter, uh, 0 0.9 means 90 centimeter. So, where we'll dug the soil from here and we'll pile up the soil on the inner side of the plantation area so that whatever the animal comes or for grazing, they will fall here, they cannot climb this area. So, this way the entire 10 to 15 hect uh, hectare or 20 hectare, we will we'll dig a ditch. Okay, we, uh, ditch come uh, 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 bund. Ditch come bund. This is ditch and this is bund. This is ditch. D I T C H. Ditch come bund fencing we can do and it is you know, more economical if it is a plain area. If it is a hilly area, then you can go for stone fencing or many other fencing. So that is very important. Fencing has to be done, otherwise, it will be grazed. So that's why. And an entire operation of this standing operation, I would like to recommend that this operation of weeding and shrub cutting is important because this condition will come by climber and the weeds will come inside the forest, whether you have done fencing, but this will come up. So you need to do three uh, weedings in first year, then two weedings in second year and uh, one weeding in third year. So when you do weeding, please try to take out the uh, weed, this is a sapling which is growing, this is a sapling which is growing, you need to uproot the weeds from nearby this area. We cannot uproot the entire forest, but wherever your, your, your seedlings are there, in that area we can do weeding and cut down all these shrubs from this area. These things has to be done. We will put out around the sub VP. So that is what, that is very important operation. So we will have a successful uh, regeneration of Shoria Rabasta, either category A, either category B. Thank you very much for watching this Indian Irregular Shelter Boot System and in my next lecture, I will be going for again the continuing the Indian Irregular Shelter Boot System with uh, uh, canopy lifting system in Andamans. Thank you.